Hey everybody, welcome to a special episode of Track Talk. Today's episode comes to you from the archives of Live From My Drum Room with the great Kenny Jones from November 2nd, 2021. And in this little segment, we talk about Kenny's incredible, iconic drumming on Rod Stewart's I Know I'm Losing You and on the Faces, Stay With Me. Uh, this was a great episode, the entire episode with Kenny. We talked about his work with The Who and playing on the Rolling Stones. It's only rock and roll, but I like it. But in this little segment, we do a little bit of a deep dive into his drum solo on I Know I'm Losing You and how he came about to play on that song. And Kenny was called in to play on that one track. And uh, also, one of my favorite songs by The Faces, Rod Stewart and The Faces, is Stay With Me and that great two-bar break he takes at the end of that. Um, it's just pure rock and roll. I, I love Kenny. Uh, big fan. So I hope you enjoy this. Check it out. I'm going to play the tracks, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. And so, and in the meantime, like Rod, so the, the faces had formed, and Rod was the singer, and Woody's playing guitar, and and uh, and Ronnie Lane, and Ian McLagan, and legendary band. And then Rod goes off to do Every Picture Tells a Story as a Rod Stewart record, kind of as a separate with, but you come in to play I'm Losing You. Yes. Yeah, you got called in to play. I remember, I remember uh, I lived in Hampstead at that time and the, the uh, studio we were recording in, it was only like five minutes away. And Rod called up and said, I was watching a film and Rod called up and said, oh, we're going to do Losing You. What, can you come and play? I said, yeah, great, no problem. I'll be right over. <laughs> so I went over, did, did Losing You and went back and watched the other half of the film. <laughs> <laughs> so was it was it like one or two takes that you you got it, the drum solo? It was, it was, we, we knew it quite well, but the thing is, there was this break in it, which is which is a drum break, and Rod would sort of sing and chant all over it, you know that bit. Yeah. That slowly turned into a solo, a drum solo over the years. It got longer and longer and longer, too bloody long. <laughs> so yeah, I'm afraid that stuck with me. It's a great. I mean, it's one of the. I mean, I grew up. I started playing drums not long after that record came out and that that whole record and that that drum solo was such a huge influence and it's to me it, you know there aren't many drum solos on a studio record you know what yeah. I mean? usually they're like on live albums you hear them and uh you know moby dick is another great recorded drum solo on a on a well, studio the, the, record. when it turned into a, uh, a solo slowly and slowly and got longer and longer and became sort of live part of the show and then Became live on an album, live. So that's how it got to it. But that's your recording, first recording we wrote on on, the, on his album, it was actually a, a short, shorter, uh, not a solo, just a drum break. I see, I see. That's that's interesting to know that because what I always loved about it is, is unlike as we like you were saying, you know, the, a lot of these drum solos, but like you know, you can tap your foot to it. It's like it never loses the groove. Mm, you know, right. all those the the you know, it's. And as a kid, you know, when I first heard that, I couldn't put my finger on why I loved it so much. Do you, you know what I mean? It was like it didn't it didn't occur to me that it was so simple. Is is the reason I love this is because it's it's the well, song is the, still going. I think, you know? the, I think the groove was, was quite a good one to do because basically I could I could go anywhere with it. You know, I could I could start then I start playing like this halfway through. You know, and just do all my tricky stuff. You know. Yeah. All, yeah. All it's better, 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 all the showing off stuff, you know. <laughs> I've never been a show off, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And and uh, so, do you remember, Kenny, was that song recorded before you recorded Stay With Me or after? I'm just curious, like the sort of uh, timing of when Hang those on, I've got to work this out. Before or after? Uh, about the same time. About the same time, no, okay. I'm splitting it down the middle now, I'm compromised. <laughs> That's perfect. No, that's great. Um, and and when you went in to record I'm Losing You, was it a kit that was in the studio that you just kind of walked in and, and used? Or was it, did you bring your own drums in for it? Or You know what, I've often asked myself that question. I can't remember. I think I think Mickey Waller was playing on, and I think I might, I might have used his drums. I can't remember. It it sounds like the, the drums on the rest of the record, which I think is Mick, Mickey Waller, as you say. Yeah. And so it, I, it probably was Mickey's drums I played on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a fat, you know, I, I listened to it 
all the time. I mean, I listen to that whole record. I listen to that that song, and it's just such a great. Well done, my friend. Well done. We we were just talking about um, "Stay with Me," and and I just have to say that the the two bar fill that you do at the end of it is is the greatest. If it's it's oh. one of the if not the greatest breaks ever do you think so <laughs> Ab- absolutely man absolutely. i couldn't do it i get to it i, I wish I, I said oh i kept thinking i could have done a lot better than that and I, but uh, if i if i don't do it exactly the same everyone has a go at me like, you know, <laughs> well, not the band but just just fans and stuff so i try and keep it as, more, more or less exactly the same well yeah when i so i i want to tell you i saw you I think it, it was the last tour that the original, well, it wasn't the original because Ronnie Lane wasn't in the band, but in 75, after Woody had played with the Stones yeah. and you guys did a tour, I, I live in, outside of Boston and you guys played in Boston in October of 1975. Peter Frampton was the opening band, you might remember. Yeah. Um, I think they yeah. did some dates. And, you, and I remember when you played Stay With Me, <clears throat> you did the break, you did the fill at the end and it wasn't exactly like the record and i was sort of waiting for it but what you played i remember and i've heard a live version of the song from that tour you played almost like a max roach um how can i explain it but it was it was of course very similar but you you even added something even kind of hipper and cooler you did this like little triplety thing toward the end of it do that and that and that and that do you remember uh, yeah i yeah. kind of i was experimenting <laughs> I, you know, it was 45 years ago, but I, whatever, 46 years ago, but I remember it. It was like, you know, I, I was glued to my seat. I just feel like I should have done a really fast parody. <laughs> <laughs> Probably been too obvious. Uh, no, it was, it was great. I mean, it was a, it was a fabulous show. And I remember you took a, a extended drum solo during I'm Losing You. Like, as you were just saying, it, it live, yeah. it became, and that was, of course, in those days, everybody played drum solos. So that, it made sense. You know, that was like a, a part of the night where well, and, it, used I, be, it used to be a horror story for me sometimes i got really tense every time we got to, a, to the drum solo i kept thinking i wonder what's going to happen now it's because one time the i was doing i think we were playing finsbury park and a, a theater there and there was a pub on you walked outside the stage door on the corner of the road there was a pub so i started playing you know the solo and all of a sudden, it was going on a bit too long. I think, where is everybody? And I'm trying to give this, you know, the, the, the sort of counting for Ronnie to come in back in. And he's not there. No one's here. This went on, on and on and on. <laughs> 20 minutes later, they come running over the stage, started, laugh, started laughing. I'm nearly, I was just about to throw the towel in. They went up the pub. <laughs> so anything can happen in that bloody song. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, well, that's my show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought. Uh, I'm going to put the link in there for the entire episode, so if you haven't seen that, you can check that out. And definitely go through and check out some of the other episodes if you haven't seen them. I will be back with new episodes soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done that. All the podcasts, of course, are on all the podcast platforms. Uh, you know the drills. No drummers are ever harmed on Track Talk or live from my drum room. And when in doubt, leave it out. All right, I'll see you soon with some new episodes. Thanks for watching.